check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Hey guys, how's it going? Electron Man. Well, we're on part two of my uh, Dwight D. Uh, President Radio here. Um, we're on the fun stuff now. I, part one was the repair, and now I'm prettying it up. Kind of give you a progress report here. Here where we're at. Got my new LEDs in. Got my LED for the light, for the clock. That's a hard one, and you're never going to get it perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. It seems to glow pretty good. It has a little bit of glow more in the middle, but I played and played with the LED to try to get it the best it could. But cool thing is, if you notice, clock's running. I fixed the clock. I don't know if you've ever dealt with these old clocks like that, but there's a, uh, it uses like an inductive motor in it. And I, I've seen this before. An inductive motor has this magnet that sits on there and it has a little spur gear. Well, as you can see, the gear is corroded off, um, which is so common on these. Um, I don't know what causes it. I, I heard that it's lubricant they put in them, but whatever. 90% of the time, it's that little gear right there gets all chewed up. And uh, so anyway, I, I found a fix for that. And uh, basically, I found a gear set in a, in a little, some servos that I have. And uh, actually one of the gears, I can drill it out and it is the exact right pitch and size. And I just clean that out real good and I put a new gear on there, a nylon gear, which will never disintegrate. I basically just press it on there and I put the thing back together and voila, we got a perfect working clock. I thought about doing a full video on that, but uh, it's kind of a trade secret, right? But uh, anyway, as you can see, it's switching time, doing everything it's supposed to do. Got the LEDs in, um, went ahead and kind of cleaned up the circuit board. And I also put a, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Actually, let me turn it this way. I got the wrong push. Um, I put a, a heat sink on the, uh, the TL220 uh, transistor there. I like to heat sink those. Um, you can buy those off Amazon for like six bucks for 20 of those little aluminum things. And it, it just gives it a little extra. Um, power supply is running like a dream as you can see and i just want to keep the heat down and have it last long um really we're pretty much down now to uh aligning and tuning it i'll probably put it most of the way back together since i've got all the front work done oh by the way check out this front i don't it, it don't get much closer to new than that i mean it, it's cleaned up so nice even the glass look at that no no scratches nothing I mean, this is going to be a beautiful radio. I'm so happy the way that cleaned up. And the rest of the case is in really great shape, too. So it's going to be a good-looking radio. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling now. I just kind of wanted to give you a progress report where we're at. Um, as you can see, I've got her all completely tore apart. And uh, I just went through and deoxed and cleaned all the pots on it. Um, cleaned the switches. LEDs on it. Fixed the clock. Really, the last thing we got to do is put it back together and do, do an alignment on it. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, guys, here's the latest update. We got the uh, front cover all cleaned, all the knobs clean. Got the front cover all reinstalled. Uh, we're getting real close to getting this guy done. Um, she's running like a charm. I was actually checking the thermals on it. And, uh, and we're running a uh, max of 110, 120. That's on the hottest components. How's that transistor? Yeah, transistor's only running 90. Transformer. Yeah, everything's running beautiful on it. Running like a charm. Clock's keeping perfect time. I've let it run for 24 hours. Right on spec. Everything's looking good. Really, the only thing we got left to do is do a peak and uh, alignment on it. We're dang near done with this guy. I'm going to put it up there and uh, have it with the rest of my radios. Really like the ears on it. Anyway, she's looking good. I'm just really tickled with how well it's cleaning up. Um, take a look at it. We're, uh, we're getting close, guys. I'll come back. Uh, I don't know if you want to... I guess I'll show you a little bit of the tuning and alignment. I'll go through the alignment. I'm not going to give you details. I, 
I'm not telling you how to align it. I'm just going to kind of show you as I align it. But anyway, just wanted to give you an update. She's looking mighty fine. Okay, first thing we're going to do is adjust the synthesizer. And uh, according to the Sandsman, you want to put the CB on channel 19. You want to hook it up to test point one, hook it up to oscilloscope. And then you want to adjust L5, which is right here, to maximum. Maximum. Watch, we're just going to watch the peaks. Going down. Going up. It looks about maximum there. It goes down there. Goes up there. I think that's about peak there. Step one. Step two is to hook it up. Test point one to frequency counter and set it to 10.240. It's spot on. I'm not going to mess with that. I mean, I'm within... I'm not going to try to get that zero down. I'll probably end up getting worse than that. That's, that baby is spot on. Okay, next thing we're going to do is move over to test point five. Same thing, channel 19. And we're going to invest L20 for three volts. Okay, the next thing you're going to test point five. And you just L20 for three volts and we're actually at 252 now so it's definitely a little bit on the low side which I'm gonna need both hands for this but you get the gist I'm gonna set that for that and set that for three volts we'll come back as you can see now I am at three volts hopefully you can see that three volts anyway that uh, takes care of that part Let's move okay, to the now side. as you can see, I'm hooked on test point six. I've got my sine wave, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust L21 for maximum. Same type thing. Just this for maximum. Which is not much change there. It's pretty much already spot on. So, there. Okay. So now we move on to the next one. Well, on test point six. Now we want to adjust L24 for 37.880 megahertz, and we're at 79.83. That's so close. I don't even know if I want to try. Let me go ahead and we'll just see if we can get her to 880 exactly. That's why she's receiving so good. She's really pretty much on. Let's see if we can. There you go, 37880. Oh. That is the synthesizer alignment. We're done with the, the synthesizer alignment. Uh, receiver alignment, I got to take it to the other bench. I'm not going to go through that. But uh, basically, you're going to go through there. I'm going to hook up my meter and put a tone through it. And then I'm just going to adjust all the L coils until I get peak receiving out of it. Um, we will go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll do a transmitter alignment. I think I can do that back on this bench. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, now we're going to go into transmitter alignment, and uh, we're on, what test point is that called? I believe that is test point three, which is right there. And then basically what we're going to do, we're going to just peak the radio for maximum transmitter, which basically I've got it all hooked up in my oscilloscope now, and when I transmit, I get a wave there. And then I'm going to just... 17 18 i mean there's a bunch of them in here i'm not going to go through all of them but you kind of get the gist of it um i'll sit there and hold it obviously i have it in a 50 ohm dummy load i have my probe set right you know you want to couple it right you don't want to blow up your oscilloscope but basically that's what i want to do and then i want to uh, peak all those to get maximum output and uh that will do pretty much a whole tune up on this radio let me uh I'll go through here and peek these and we'll see what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, there's where we ended up. We didn't gain a whole lot there. Um, she was pretty sitting pretty good as far as uh, 
output it looks like is pretty maxed now i will do a little bit of tweaking on my loading coils back here but that's kind of a i'll hook that up to the other meter and do that this is the transmitter alignment we're good there in fact um i should be able to well if i did everything right that frequency ought to be spot on 271850 yeah she's right on actually zero five which should even be better that's right on the money that baby's spot on well we got her we got her line now okay and the last part of this is the only part i'm deviating away from the uh, factory settings is i'm going to go ahead and tune these loading cools here you don't ever want to touch this one here i have took that spec analyzer but you want a minimum that's your 54 megahertz trap but i'll adjust these three i've already set all that so uh basically i'll just peak these and then i'll peak the amc modulation and that's pretty much it for the tune and i'll use my meter with the dummy low for it to uh, get maximum because i want more than they probably set in factory and get the maximum out i did notice it's missing one of the loading cool so i went out there in my stash and i'll put one back in there and see if it improves it or I'm not sure why it's not in there, but we'll uh, we'll go through there and peak it. And then I'll show you some final numbers. Okay, now I've done uh, peaked and tuned it, and uh, and audio, audio. Got a nice, pretty modulation signal down. Um, I'll come back and show you. I'll put back together in the final uh, performance ever. We're just about done with this one. Okay, guys, there you go. There's the. Uh, President Dwight D, 100% complete. She's peaked, she's tuned, she's slim and fine. Take a look at her. Uh, ears are great on her. After I tuned her, she's dead keying right at four watts. And swinging. 9 10 not bad not bad for an am radio uh, sideband you'll get a little bit more out of them but uh for an am radio dead key swing in eight to ten dead key in four i'm totally happy put a little heater on her and she would walk the dog i already showed you how the modulation looks got the meters all tweaked and set right right up there at 100 and percent modulation she's a sweet machine and look how clean she is she cleaned up nice you already seen the inside you seen under her pants you know she looks good underneath there so anyway she's one sweet machine and that uh, that all's with the uh, stock hand mic obviously I'll be putting a power mic on her but I wanted to tune her up as she was from the factory i'm really tickled with it um hopefully enjoyed this uh series of uh, me restoring it i tried to get in a little more detail on it hopefully i got my lighting right i know on the first part um, i kind of got washed out i added too much light so hopefully i've got the lighting right on it but uh anyway i i think i'm gonna put her up on the on the shelf and uh and enjoy her now i figure i got about six hours of bench time and probably two of that was spent on the uh, clock and about um under twenty dollars in parts to get her up and running and uh initial purchase i'm, I'm well under a hundred dollars for the whole thing so i'm happy plus my labor you know that adds up but uh but it was a labor of love i did it for myself so but if i'd done this for somebody else it'd have been about six hours bench time so anyway just kind of give you an idea of, you know, full alignment, repairing everything. It was about six hours, including repairing the clock. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That's free. And as always, have a great day. This is Electron Man.